Hello everybody, this is Go Wars Reborn for a chest farm that I have set up and right inside the deep. So you're going to need 7 hero party for this. I'll be sure to put the link in the description of the video for this hero setup if you haven't already seen it. I have this at 2x slow speed, so you're going to have twice the slow speed for this video so I can explain. So right now I am flagging the heroes to the first portal of the deep. Once I flag them to the portal, I watch for the second portal to spawn, unflag the heroes, they come to me behind the gate, so you walk behind the gate to unflag them. I flag all seven heroes behind the gate, and then after I flag them behind the gate, I speed boost run forward to the second portal. So all this strategically works together. So after you get to the portal of the second room of the deep alone, then you're going to unflag your heroes. So your heroes are going to be unflagged, and then you're going to speed boost them forward and run. They're going to just sit for a few seconds, and you're going to allow the heroes to run to you. And they're going to run through the portal. Usually two to three heroes will run immediately through the portal since the portal's there. And the rest of them will normally glitch and jump forward. Sometimes you might have some stuck, but in general... They're, they're going to follow you the whole way. So once you get through there, you want to instantly run once you get your heroes to the front. Make sure you have you move like a dwarf in your build. Everything else doesn't matter. Knock down Kanoxe as you see, and make sure there's a chest. So you can visually see that I saw there was a chest back there. If there's no chest back there, it wouldn't be worth this run. You want to resign, slash resign, and repeat. As you'll see later, I'll have you showing you a video sequence of at least 10 runs that I did back to back with you to see how things worked with a fast pace of, a, I think it was around a 3x speed. So you can see me doing numerous runs back to back with this exact strategic to show you that some runs are successful and some runs aren't when it comes to chests. Not every run a chest is going to spawn there, but there's going to be runs that you're going to have where you're going to zone in and you run up and there's going to be no chest. And then there's going to be some where there's a chest like this one. So what we're doing right now is killing all of the enemies in this room with the hero team before you can get that chest. So like I said, this is 2x speed or 2x slower speed, so that way that I could show you guys how this process works, as well as I can give you a commentary background of, of this as I'm doing this. So why would you want to do this type of chess run? So Zodiac weapons are very rare, especially old schools, and they're only dropped in the deep in Urgaz for old school, so it's definitely worth farming these type of Zodiac weapons, especially from the chess and hard mode, and even normal mode, you can get the old school rares. I think people even say you can get Q7 or Q8s in the regular chess, but I personally like to do hard mode because I like max perfect golds, and I am I would like to get some of the old school dual mod Z Zodiac shields, as well as some of the dual modded wand scepters and the Zodiac staffs, trying to get the 2020s out of them. So there's a lot of different options that you can do when it comes to this run. So any profession can be able to do this as long as you follow the process I just showed you. If you didn't know this already, you're able to flag heroes into one of the portals as I showed you earlier. And after that portal's clear with three heroes, you just unflag it behind the gate and they'll come to you. So I hope that taught you some stuff. All right, so now that we got the gate open, let me go ahead and put this back at normal speed so that way you don't have to see me walk slow all the way to the chest. So now that the gate's open and under a two minute chest run with the heroes, we're going to go ahead and get that chest. So you pretty much will just move the heroes with you, have a fallback and speed boost with you, let the heroes distract the enemies and run to that chest. So the chest spawn can vary. Sometimes it'll be in the middle, sometimes on the left, sometimes on the right. But you're always going to have some form of chest in this area whenever a chest does spawn. But it isn't every run. So I hope that helped, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and enjoy this footage for the next 10 runs I do. You'll get to see video footage of me doing this 3x speed strategically the way I just explained in half speed mode. So twice as, as uh, frames per second. So now it's at three times frames per second instead of half frames per second as you got before. So I hope you guys enjoy this and you'll get to see me do a lot of runs and show you that see right now as you can visually see there wasn't a chest in this one so i'm going to do numerous runs to show you strategically what i'm doing flagging the heroes i run behind the thing unflag it once i trigger the portal go to the portal run forward make sure i trigger my heroes in the portal before i run forward just in case there's a chest and then i'll see if there's a chest if there's no chest resign and repeat and that's pretty much the chest farm run under two minutes when you get a chest 15 to 20 seconds without a chest. Happy chest farming and stay tuned for more Guild Wars videos of all types. Later guys, this is Guild Wars Reborn out.
perfect. perfect.